that I haven't made any videos in a while. Kind of pressed for time. We're getting ready for a long family vacation, so all my experiments have been holding off until sometime after the start of the new year. But after that, I'm back at it 100%. And I'm I'm really not taking that bad. This is an iPhone. That's why it looks kind of pixely and it looks very shaky. I'm not on crack. I am moving it very slow. But there you can see that's the only exposed part of the plates I have. There is. It's really not showing up good. Let me try closer. So you can see in the bottom of there, there is one, two, three, four. Seven plates. See, it's been too long. I forgot how many plates I got. Seven plates. And then I got my hemostats hooked on the outer two most plates. So it's five neutral, six gaps. Now scratch that. Oh, I forgot. I'm out of tube, so I'm only running five gaps. So one of the plates is skipped on the outer side. And then there's no holes at all through my plates. They look... They look exactly like that's my black neoprene. I just put that in there for a spacer. I was thinking it would help compress it a little better. But that's the si the shape of my plates. There's no holes in the plates. And I'm going to explain the gaskets here in a minute. But you see, that's my gas and water output. My water input. Let me back up here. Okay. The output goes up to the T's. You see, then I got the uh, halo collector, I guess, with a bunch more T's. You know, it just takes my uh, outputs and runs it all to a central output, which then comes out that I've been using to do my testing and stuff. And it runs really nice at about 2 amp. This is the cell that I was running. I, I've got it down to 1.7 volts per gap. But that was at really low amp, and that was, like I said, right before I started running out of time. I will be back at it, posting anything I find. But, it don't come up on the video very good. This, I, I, I got a piece of plexiglass here, you know, just like the average cell. But in between them, there's solid, I believe it's polyester resin or something. I bought it from Michael's craft store. It's for making molds or something. Like, uh, yeah, molds. I think they're, they're either making molds or making the part that you make in the mold something. But that's what it's made for. It's two parts you mix together and then pour it. And you got like 24 hours and it sets up. But see, it stops. It's solid from here. It's solid from here, this way. And then open so I can make my plate connections. And then solid from here. Solid from here this way, all the way around. So you can see it's completely filled in with my stuff so you can't get in there and and I'll I'll show you in a minute the reason reason why this is even in there. But you see it's just open. This is the open corner to make my plate connections. The rest of this is completely filled in solid. And I bolted it together, made sure everything was where I wanted it, and then used a, I don't know what exactly it is, real metal duct tape, like for doing duct work, and wrapped it around there and poured the stuff, and it held it really nice. But I, I, I don't know if I would advise using the stuff from Michaels, because hindsight, it's made to pour it in a mold, and then pop it back out of the mold, so it doesn't bond to anything. Like, I got parts where it leaked... <laughs> I didn't seal up my bolts like I knew I should have, and it leaked out of them, but I could just pop it all back off with a screwdriver, so it don't it don't bond to anything. Got a little bit of lie on me. Um, I'll be back to that in a minute. Here's how I ended up making my gaskets. Believe it or not, I was able to get a square out of two pieces. You see, that's how they, when I cut them off, of my, here's my neoprene gasket that I actually used. It's a two-piece gasket. See, when I was laying them out, I cut them out like that. You know, cut it out as a solid one. 
And then after I had this piece, I split it into two. But I take this. Now that I just use this white stuff. It's Sarnif Sarnifil TPO roofing membrane. I'm just using it for a demo. But you see, when I lay my gaskets like that, it leaves a little gap. And here, here's some little red tubes. So, you know, in the cell, it would be a full neoprene gasket, like I said, just for, uh, to, to, so it picked my plate off of the sidewall and compressed it a little better. I don't, I don't know if it did anything, but I thought it was going to. So you'd have a metal plate, and then a gasket like that with the red, see the red tubes there, on my red tube outputs and inputs. You got a plate, one of these gaskets, plate, another one of these gaskets. For I did six of them. But like I said, all my testing, I was running five of them. I was I never got the gusto to go buy some more tees. Things are like two bucks a piece or something. But I I know it's not it's not any kind of data without seeing it. But my best run, I got a 7.4 MMW. But that was at nine amps. And now I believe what's happening at that high of amps, I'm using these little, little tiny lines. They are, them red tubes that I'm showing you, are the tubes for an RC car, like a remote control car, to hold the wire antenna up in the air. I was just at the mall and seen them, grabbed them, and thought it would work. But they're, they're too small inside diameter, so the only water pressure that I actually have, trying to force water into the cell, this looks big. It's it's maybe a foot drop of gravity trying to push water in. So at nine amps, I, I don't. There's no way for me to know for sure, but I'm imagining from how long it takes me to refill and stuff. I'm only getting about this much water inside of my cell, and that's when it was producing the 7.4. So I don't know if that means a very small cell under pressure could do it. Like, and I mean a small cell like. I don't know, what's, what's that surface area there? Maybe an inch or something? Here's my pinky. You know, something maybe an inch, two inch. But it was doing 7.4. Now, when I run at two amps, which the cell runs really nice, I get foamy output. At two amps, I think my best was a 5.6 MMW. Now, when I have time, I will be doing MMW runs on the camera. Just to show everybody, I'm not trying to bullshit anyone. But I have too bad of a leak here. I'm thinking maybe if I if I put some back pressure against the cell, I'm going to be able to keep getting my amps up a little higher, and still keeping my cell full because the pressure would make the bubbles inside of the cell smaller, allowing for more water to be in there. And. I'm not sure what else to say about this. I've learned a lot. I'm very happy with it. It's a no-hole cell. And I have a few videos of it running, private videos. I'll have to sort through them and see which ones are okay for public. No, I'm not trying to hide anything. It just, while I was developing it, I was making a bunch of private videos. I didn't want to post a bunch of jargon on YouTube that people have to sit through and watch. I was trying to get a more, uh, you know, get my stuff set up a little better. Well, like just for this, here's my my HHO meter. You know, I, I was wanting to have my stuff set up a little better before I did a video, but there it is. Yes, I am claiming a 7.4 MMW, and that was with the cell not working at all right. So there is much progress to be made.